Hey coin collectors, Dan the Collecting Man here. Today we're going to talk about Scottsdale Mint Bars. Some of the cool mint bars that they are producing. One of my favourites and one of my thoughts on some of these kind of bars and where I'm looking to head in the future with my stacking and collection with the Scottsdale Mint Bars. So I think they're pretty unique and I really like some of the things that the Scottsdale Mint come up with. So I think one of the key ones that I really like at the moment is this one here this is the vertex one ounce bar so i really love this one for its design that they've got here with the line in the middle so it's the scottsdale mint line encompassed by the vertex pattern that really just with that design with the light uh, you can just see here really looks unique i really like it and i love the way they've done this kind of unique design so this, for me this is probably one of my favorite one ounce bars that they've produced uh, to date and I think it's really cool to to have and I just like it so it's it's a 49 fine silver so 49 uh, one troy ounce I love there with the line with the Scottsdale mint it just really pops out there so I think one that's been really popular of late is this one here this is the Archangel Michael so this has been really really popular this is a one ounce you can also get this in a 10 ounce uh, bar so i might look at getting the 10 ounce at some point in the future but i definitely like the one ounce version so the key thing with this one and why this one's so collectible the archangel michael is the angel of protection and is the most powerful of all the angels so you can see that's kind of something why people might want to collect because of that kind of mythical um, background that it has Michael uh, the angel is also slaying a serpent so we know that obviously like Satan uh, you've got that angel getting rid of that sin kind of process there so I think that if you have a look close look at the design of this one it looks really good you kind of got the sword going through you got the, the serpent or the snake here with the fire almost coming out of it and you've got here the uh, Michael with his wings and that kind of protection there with the shield so i think it looks good on this side it's almost like a proof like finish so you've got three nine fine silver uh one troy ounce so you can see the difference with this one here uh the difference on the back here where you've got almost those lines going there it's not as proof like finish compared to this one so it is a bit of a different design and i think this one is definitely becoming quite collectible uh and a lot of people like having these especially probably in the 10 ounce as well so we also have uh five ounce so these are something that they really like making is these smaller size silver so more looking at your stack prepper kind of process so i've just got one for myself uh tiny little five ounce so this is the second series that they've come out with with the five grams so i think it's good they've got the little uh line in the middle there five grams three nine fine silver and on the back you've just got the the Scottsdale mint with the ss there so hopefully you can see that uh, yep there so that looks good there so i've just got one one of those for myself I'm not really looking at getting many of those but i think uh it's pretty cool just to have a couple of the smaller less than a troy ounce bits of silver the next one for me that I really love, and I just love the design and the look of it because it's just more natural, is these 10 ounce bars. So this is called Chunky. So that's obviously the name is being given within the industry. And you can see the reason why. It's just got that kind of real chunky bit of metal just chucked together, kind of all melted in a pot with the stamp put on there. So it has kind of a no bars are the same so every bar is always going to be unique and different which i love about that so you're going to have your little burn marks which you can kind of see there you're going to have all the different kind of marking and etching from when they've made it so there's no perfect bar which is kind of that rugged kind of look that i personally enjoy when you're holding a bar of silver it's kind of cool and definitely you can feel that uh, 10 ounces in there so also like the way they've done the stamp so it actually comes out really really clear so if you can see there with the line scottsdale mint you got the three nine plus there fine silver 10 troy ounces so there's nothing on the back of it or anything else but i definitely like 
having these kind of chunky bars. They're definitely pretty cool. I might look at getting one a bit bigger in the future, uh, but this one's certainly pretty cool for now to have as part of my stack. It's one of my bigger bars that I now own. And this one, I just got this more almost as a gimmick, I have to be honest, because uh, the cost to buy this versus the value of silver is pretty high. So you're certainly, I think, almost losing a bit of money buying this, but this is a hundred one gram 3.9 fine silver bars. So it's called the Scottsdale Mint Prepper Silver. So it's for whenever you need to barter and you need to only use small bits of silver. So you've got all these 100 bars in here of one gram silver. So I thought it'd be pretty unique to have this. Uh, they're apparently selling pretty hotly as well. So a lot of people are buying these. There's uh, massive delays from the actual Scottsdale Mint to be able to get these. So they're definitely getting quite collectible and uh, a lot of people obviously wanting these. You can obviously get these using gold, but uh, obviously that's gonna be a bit of a cost uh, for me. But I thought it's pretty cool to have something like this, having one gram silver, something I've never done before in my stacking journey, but I thought as something unique to collect and to hold as part of my collection, I thought that's pretty cool. The next one I like is the little square one, uh, one of those cast bars. So that's something I'm looking to be collecting very soon. And I love the two ounce stacker coins. So these are the ones where you can put the coins into each other. So you can stack a whole heap and they kind of interlock with each other. You can also interlock them with the five ounce and 100 grams. So I'll definitely be getting probably a couple of two ounce ones to interlock. Um, they're more of your silver round, so they're not government minted. But they're pretty cool. So here's some other stuff that I've also got from the Scottsdale Mint. This is the, the unicorn that I've got from the Scottsdale Mint. So it's got the Republic of uh, Ghana there. So obviously these aren't real coins. So this obviously comes from the US. So the Scottsdale Mint is located in the United States in Arizona. So it's an uh, American owned company and run private mint. So it's a private mint from the US in Arizona. Uh, so you don't see many government minted. So these ones are more of a, gives you that look that it's government minted. Obviously you've got the queen in there, uh, but as you can see, it's got Elizabeth II, uh, but this is just more of a, a token kind of obverse there. So other ones I like, so this is something I'm starting to look at collecting more of is getting these one ounce bars. So I've got this one, this one's out of the Perth Mint. So I'm looking to get some of these cases and hopefully at like a bit of a container that I can start to put all of these in. And you've, I've got this one here. This is the 100 grams out of the Royal Mint. That's a pretty good one. And then you've got your Kangaroo is, is another one from the Perth Mint. And another cool mint that I really like stacking from is the Germanian Mint. So this one is another bar, a bit like this where it's not uh, perfect, but this one, at least you've got the sticker on the back of it. So that way you know it's a real one and it's not a fake where this one doesn't have any kind of numbers or anything else in there to identify it as being real. Where this one here from the Germanian Mint at least has a number and you can kind of verify that that is a genuine one. So that's probably a bit of a miss when it comes to these bars that you don't have any identifier to confirm that it's actually made like these germanium mint ones. So definitely something that they can look out for in the future as part of a thing that they can look at growing as part of their um, branding uh, awareness. But I think having these ones are pretty cool and I do like having these kind of coins. So I'd love to know what's your favorite Scottsdale mint bar or coin. Is there any that you're looking to stack in the future, what's the ones that I haven't got here that you think, Dan, you need to add that one to your Scottsdale Mint set and collection? Uh, any kind of sizes? Um, I'm personally not really interested in the gold from Scottsdale Mint. I, I would normally like to get government minted gold from my point of view for a, a kind of a security. And for me, it's just something that I personally like. But from a silver stacking point of view, definitely having some of these are pretty cool. And I know that these are gonna be more collectible and I'd like to see some of the other series they've got and I'm definitely looking to get more of the one ounce from the future. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'd love to hear your feedback on this. 
please click subscribe if you want more videos on coin and bullion collecting. Thanks so much for watching and joining the coin collecting community. I'll definitely catch you in my next video, Dan.